A new weight scale, less flies, and a better smelling dump are just some of the highlights during District Court Judge Francis Tidinko Gatewood's visit to the ORDOT landfill this morning. The Chief Judge brought along Acting Governor Mike Cruz, Senator Tom Atta, and other local officials to observe the progress being made to this mountain of trash. GBB Special Principal Associate David Manning explains to the judge their new weight scale will soon be operational and will allow them to bill customers more accurately based on the volume of waste being brought to the dump. He tells PNC News these improvements are mostly through the efforts of the court and the hardworking employees of the Solid Waste Division. We'll uh, begin the process next week of training the employees to properly use the scale. Uh, as you could see, it's a very significant piece of equipment. Uh, it uh, will provide accurate measurements for the first time uh, in, well, some folks have said ever, but certainly for the first time since in many, many years. The chief judge also asked many questions throughout her visit, especially when officials took her to the top of the landfill. In fact, she was curious about what happens to glass after it is separated and disposed. You know, um, I think uh, Bob uh, spoke yesterday at the hearing that you guys pulverized the glass, or maybe Jack, somebody did. You pulverize the glass. Do you guys pulverize the glass here? Yeah, they get a volume and then they'll dump it in a certain area and then they'll compact it, crush it, and then use it as cover. Use it as cover. Okay. The chief judge also spoke with dump supervisor Richard Napati, who tells her everything runs more efficiently now. You're in charge of the um, all the equipment, so what does that mean? What do you, what do, you do now with all the new equipment? We do permit preventive maintenance and, uh, you know, the checks and balance of whatever. Yeah. But basically these guys are a, their minimum supervision, that's because they know what to do. Uh, they're great guys. Yeah, how many people work here uh, with you, Mr. Napati? Uh, right now I think we got about 11, 12. Napati says his job was stressful before the receiver came on board, but since all the equipment is working, he notices that work morale has improved and his employees look forward to doing their job. They're all proud. Before this, sometimes they don't even want to come to work because there's no equipment to operate. They all sit and, you know, just monitor the, the, the incoming garbage and all that. But now they, they, they tend to come to work because they have a machine to play around with. 